Ah yes, YouTube. Young love in bloom. I guess I always knew that this day would come, the day where my browning, shock and awe tomahawk found something, someone to spend the rest of its life with. Yes, my browning hawk has found a partner, and it was kind of a, you know, working class boy meets uptown girl type of situation. They had a, a long walk on the beach, you know, they chased each other and then kind of kind of tumbled together and fell, you know, rolled around, and, uh, all right, I will stop kidding around. This is my shock and awe tomahawk. I've done, like, three videos with this. I've grown to like this because at first I was kind of freaked out because it is uh, such a, a miniature tomahawk. I just had never seen, like, a, a dwarf tomahawk. Whoa. Okay, birds attacking. Sorry, YouTube. They're not going to be quiet. Okay, I'm back. I yelled at them. Wow, this review is going well. Okay, anyway. Um, I, I've grown to really like this tomahawk. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. I've pretty much used it for everything. Look how worn out it is. All right, so when I saw this S-Wing tool, I, I just really like the idea of having uh, two uh, small little utility tools with... Uh, this has the blade and the pick or the spike right and this has the hammer and the chisel and so I just think this makes a really nice compact uh, little pair of tools uh, whether you're talking about a little bit of emergency uh, breaching like a little bit of urban survival or whether you're talking about just building things out in the field, you know, a little shelter building and so forth, and you don't want to carry, obviously, big heavy tools, all right, or just around the house. So yeah, these uh, are useful for all kind of things. So this S-Wing, it's very light. It's only 12 ounces. That's the item number if you want to go get one. And it's only 10.4 inches, okay? So you actually could feasibly carry this in any kind of little kit, like I said, I don't know, some sort of urban urban survival, you know, zombie kit or something. It is very portable. Now you might say, why did you wrap it in paracord? Well, first of all, I needed to make it more tactical and putting paracord on anything <laughs> just makes it automatically tactical. There's no actual reason, you know. Um, this thing looks so ninja-like, so I don't know. This was just my attempt to have some sort of freaking uh, coherency of theme there now one thing I want to point out when I when I purchased this it was sold uh, the, the blur basically said that it has a chisel edge I want to make clear it does not come with an edge it doesn't come with a sharp cutting edge all right I thought it would be more like a chisel for wood but it's actually more like a rock chisel, I guess. But I wanted it to be useful for wood, so I actually sharpened that. Oh, I don't know if you can hear a truck. Excuse the background noise. We're doing this on the fly here. Can you? Could you just circle around my house for five hours in your truck, please? Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna see a throwing video unplanned very soon. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, no, I took that the rock chisel and I ground this down with a work sharp so that it's more you can work wood with it now because I want more of like a something you can shape wood with so I actually just put an edge on this okay this will probably work better since this is supported there we go yeah see the, the chisel effect you know you have to sharpen it yourself in order to be able to use it like that but pretty cool pretty cool you can also use this as a pry bar and you can dig with it I really think these make a great pair because they're around the same size. This is actually even lighter. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a digging tool, a prying tool. You can hammer tent stakes, you could breach, you could break some rocks or some cinder blocks. You can shape wood with the chisel. It's just an all around good tool when paired up with this. 
And I suppose it does have some improvised weapon potential. I mean, that would be pretty, pretty nasty on the skull either end. All right, and this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.